Hey everybody, this is Crevo Farms here, August 24th, and uh, we're going to explain how we move these chicks every day. So, I've been moving them for about eight weeks every day now. Um, we started them off in our hatchery for about three to four weeks, and then we brought them out here, we put them in this carport that we have it on a sled, our homemade sled, and... We've been moving them forward every day. They eat grasshoppers, crickets, really anything they can find, every bug. They Sometimes they eat a little bit of grass here and there. And then we also put the feed to them. So they eat a lot every day. They eat about two buckets every day. So they're growing quickly. How many birds you got in there? Uh, we got 95 birds, uh, oh. red rangers um, from Hooper Hatchery in Iowa, um, we have a couple Cornish cross in there with them that we're planning on kill today or tomorrow. So uh, explain how you're moving these birds up. Uh, we have a New Holland 250 TL. A, looks like a Boomer 50. And it's a Boomer 50. That, with a 250 TL loader on it. Yeah. And what do you use this front end loader for? Uh, we carry the feed in the front end loader and we pull them up with the okay. bag. All right, so you use two five-gallon buckets to pack feed down here from the yeah. shop? Yeah. All right, so <clears throat> explain how many, how, how do you hook it up? So, uh, come back here. We just have a normal chain attachment to it, and we have this little sliver of metal. You just slide it on there, and you're good to go. So it's attached to your chicken tractor, which is just a, a carport that we put together. Put some wire on the sides. Put some wire, two by four wire on the sides with a sled out of old oil pipe and some belting on the front and the back. To, so, all right, so how do you... Uh, how do you feed them here? Show me uh, around here. So, uh, we just come in here. Usually we'll be packing a bucket full of feed. So you just come in here. Take off the top and you just pour it in. We've done fed them. So these feeders, did you buy them feeders? No, these are homemade feeders. Okay. For stuff that we just kind of found laying around the house. Who helped you build them? uh grandparents grandparents your papa helped you build these and then first we just uh we had a little gap down below thinking but it doesn't flow real well it does the feed doesn't flow real well so we came back with a hose saw on the sides there and we put a inch and a half hole in uh three three spots around it did that for this one too. And you might be able to see it better on this one. Just a, some stuff that was laying around that we used to, to build it, but we do put tops on it so that uh, sometimes when they're younger, they kind of jump up on top and we didn't want them to jeopardize the feed quality. So by uh, pooping in it, so so what do you got here hanging from the ceiling here? Uh, this is our nipple water. We first started out with this. Okay. It's just a regular generic nipple water. We've got the nipples at Royal King. Yeah. And just drilled the holes and screwed them in the bottom. But what kind of water system are you using? Our main water system is a bell water hooked up to a five gallon bucket that we fill up daily multiple times. Yeah, usually how many times a day do you? Usually so you, three. So you move them first thing in the morning. Yeah. And then? I feed them and water them. And then about noon, I come back down here and I got to water them again. Yeah. And then I come back in the evening. I don't bring any feed with me, but I still got to water them yeah. again. So this uh, two buckets of feed for 95 birds will do you for, what, 24 hours? Yeah. So you only got to pack feed one time a day, right? Yes. Okay. And you can notice the chickens here, they're pecking around at some bugs on the ground, 
They just got moved just a few minutes ago. So they're picking around at grass. And we also have a sheep falling in behind them. This is kind of our sheep pasture. Um, the sheep can go anywhere, kind of help pick the pasture down. So, so those four, four Cornish, Cornish cross, cross these here, big white ones. they're big, ready to slaughter. But the Red Rangers are gonna be a couple weeks behind. They're probably all way about, I'd say slaughter weights around four pounds on the Red Rangers, which in our experience, a lot of people like, so we might try to be uh, schedule a date for them maybe in a week to 10 days. But these, we only got four of these Cornish Cross, right? Yeah, these and, Cornish Cross are probably 10 pounds right now. Yeah, they're probably 10 pounds live weight. So they're gonna be some big old, big breasted, but the Red Rangers are supposed to be kind of a, a darker meat, more, I ain't more tasteful, I guess you can say. All right, so, and uh, can't forget about your uh, farm dog here. Let's yeah. go outside and explain what he does. See him sitting out here in front of the tractor. I'm scared to death of sheep. No, he's not. He's just being hungry for chicken. <laughs> He's hungry for chicken, is what Owen says. <laughs> what you Stop. said? Yeah. He likes to eat Here, boy. chickens. <laughs> Here, boy. <laughs> but we tried to not let him because he's All right, get down there and explain right. who he is. Okay, so this is Job, our farm dog. He's a blue healer, and uh, he helps us move chickens every day. He, in my opinion, he's one of the best in our family. He can... <laughs> so when we're going around turns... He, the chickens are so scared of him, he just sits in one corner and they stay out of that corner. So no chickens get run over, none of them get caught. We don't have to worry about that problem. So it's really nice for me. So I can just drive and focus on where I'm going. Job can control where all the chickens are at and other people that are here can control that too. So he kind of follows in behind you, behind the yeah. chicken tractor here and, and, and spooks. I'm gonna say spooks the chickens into moving forward. But uh, since it's been, what, six weeks since you started yeah. doing this, the chickens are pretty used to moving every yeah. morning, aren't they? Yeah, so usually whenever I start pulling up, they usually just come to the front because they know that there's fresh grass, new crickets, you name it. Yeah. So they usually come up here to, to the front, so it's easier for me to go forward, especially when we're going straight. Yeah. And then around turns, he comes in handy, so he can scare them. Because we're turning, turning that way. Yeah. So, usually this corner is always turning towards them. Yeah. So, Job usually sits in this corner here. And these chickens usually go to this side or the back. So, that's what we like. And then, whenever they get real close to the edges, he runs around, gets them all away from the edges, and comes back to this corner. So it really works out for us. Did you train him to do that? No. No. He's he, self-trained. He's self-trained. He's been a good one. Yeah. Okay. All right. So uh, what do you got planned for the rest of the day? Uh, planning on getting a couple Cornish crosses in the freezer and uh, doing whatever else we need to do. Okay. All right. So. Signing off here, Cravo Farms.